I think it is important to note that this legislation um, leaves off some key bipartisan, some key areas that we want to see bipartisan reform happen. I think first and foremost that we, the bill only targets discretionary spending. We're not talking about um, some of the programs like Social Security, like Medicare, you know, the, the largest cost drivers um, of our budget. Not necessarily saying we need to cut those programs, but we know that we need to reform them. We know that we need to strengthen them um, so that they remain solvent for the individuals who will rely on them in just the next decade. Um, the bill also fails to look at new sources of revenue generation. Um, we have to be serious about raising um, money through the tax, raising revenue through the tax code. We are now averaging annual trillion dollar deficits and the bill really does nothing to look at the revenue side of the equation. And so I think that it is time that the lawmakers come together to, to focus on solutions that can also raise revenues instead of just allowing uh, taxes to be cut and to really only focus on a increasingly smaller share of the of the fiscal pie, which is this discretionary spending, which is really only about you know a quarter of um, of the budget.